Well, let's call this the catnip update. How to find and identify it now that it's flowering. Well, I just happen to be cruising along the roads on the way to my farm and it's not hard to find. I see it growing several places in the ditch. Well, there's even a bit of it right there alongside a field. Well, I've been noticing it likes to grow on little hills. It likes to grow places where burdock would grow. You know those burrs that stick on you that are so annoying? It also likes to grow near the edge of things like buildings, sidewalks, parking lots, places where there's piles of rocks. And a favorite spot to find it like along the side of the road is where they did road work a year before, like when they were digging in the ditches or making a new road. It seems about a year later, on the higher points of the ditch, it likes to grow there too. Oh wow, there's a good patch on the side of the road. I'll have to come back and get that when it's mature. Hmm, lots more here too. It seems to never grow on mature grassy areas. Always where there was dirt disturbed, you know, the year before or the year before that. And one more great place to find this stuff is on construction sites that have been going on since the previous year. There's all kinds of it in there. So it's July 17th in southern Ontario, Lucan, Canada. And here's a close up to help you identify it. It's all got these light purple flowers. Leaves that look like that. And it can grow pretty big too, as you can see. That's as high as my nose. Sort of has a flowery marijuana smell. But it's definitely not time to pick it yet. In probably about three more weeks, it'll be in the seeding stage, and those flowery heads sort of turn a grayish greenish color and get very sticky and very smelly. Then it's time to pick it and hang it and dry it.